Once a novelty, reality shows have now become a TV staple. This week, the early show visits with former reality stars in our reality check series to see what they're up to. This morning, we catch up with the not married yet first couple of Survivor. For Jenna Maraska and Ethan Zahn, it seemed like forever. 39 grueling days for Jenna in Brazil, Ethan in Kenya without food, water, or shelter. The winner of Survivor Africa. But the two outwitted, outplayed, and outlasted the others, and each took home the million dollar grand prize. Ethan in 2002, Jenna a year later. So I went in going, I'm going to win a million dollars, I'm going to do whatever it takes, and then I hope everybody forgives me. Jenna, a swimsuit model from Pittsburgh, was the youngest to ever win Survivor. I was 21, I really had a lot to learn, and I learned it in front of a, a, an audience, which is not the easiest thing to do. But I learned and I grew, and I'm really thankful for it. I take my clothes off for chocolate and peanut butter. Get the girls some chocolate and peanut butter probes. Oh, there, there you go. Like in one infamous episode where she and fellow survivor Amazon contestant Heidi stripped down to the buff for peanut butter and chocolate during a reward one, challenge. One, two, three. Oh, my God. Ta-da! All right, let's Shortly I'm after the one. Amazon, Maraska was at it again, this time for Playboy. Clearly from, um, sur from the survivor, it showed that I'm not very conservative. <laughs> so I really am kind of just free and open and not always for chocolate and peanut butter like you saw on the show. I do have some standards now. Ethan Zahn won Survivor Africa in 2002, becoming a millionaire in the process. Even then, the professional soccer player from Massachusetts knew exactly what he would do with the money. Lex. The guy with all the tattoos, he stands up, he says, if I give you my vote. What is the first selfless act that you are going to perform? And I said, they're right there on the spot. I haven't eaten in 39 days. I smell like a giraffe. You know, my teeth are covered with muck. My selfless act would be to give my time to some sort of inner city, you know, soccer league where I can look at these kids, these diamonds in the rough, and, you know, get them to start a league. Zahn founded Grassroots Soccer, a foundation that teaches AIDS awareness in Africa. He knows that even if he's not a world-famous rock star like Bono, he too can be a positive influence. Reality television, faux liberty, you know, is even less than what you know, Bono has. But I'm using this small window to help you know, create change in, my, in, in other people's lives. Ethan's own life changed after he attended a particular survivor party. And I wanted to welcome Jen into the Millionaires Club. And so I, you know, offered her a nice uh, a beer. And uh, it was half empty because I had taken a sip before I gave it to her. But you know, it's all right. But that's how we met. The two reality stars who began dating shortly thereafter have been able to multiply their influence. And I support her in, in events that she's part of, and she supports me with my causes. You're so cute. One of Jenna's causes is the welfare of animals. She serves as a spokesperson for the Humane Society of the United States. The group's CEO is grateful. She's not just doing it for her 15 or 30 minutes of fame. I think that she wants to make an impact in the world. She wants to leave. Lucky, and I've had a lot of really great experiences, and I'm really thankful. We've graduated 240,000 kids from the program. For me, this was, you know, something I've always want, you know, something I've always wanted to do. Using Survivor as a platform, you know, helped me achieve this. Ethan and Jenna are still keeping busy. She has continued modeling and hosts an internet show on pets. And in a couple of weeks, Ethan will dribble a soccer ball from Boston to Washington to raise awareness about AIDS.